we are now three weeks away from the release of Deadpool, a movie about a mutant who is essentially what happens when you put Bugs Bunny in a Mortal Kombat game. This film is going to be rated R, and judging from all the internet rumblings, it's going to be a very hard R with all the violence and bad language we expect from the character. Along with, according to the MPAA, graphic nudity and sexual content. Now, Deadpool had always been a wild card character. He was born in the 90s during an extreme era of sex and violence in comics. And while other characters of the era have either mellowed out or been completely forgotten, Deadpool remained extreme but went in a different direction, one of self-satire and a parody of the medium he's in. So to do him justice in a live-action movie, an R rating would make the most sense. The problem is there are a lot of Deadpool fans out there who are under 18 and won't be able to see this movie without a parent. So unless you have really cool parents, or really bad parents depending on your opinion, you're not seeing this movie, at least not in theaters. Now there is a petition to get a PG-13 version of this movie released. It's being spearheaded by YouTuber Grace Randolph. Now let me just say this, I am a fan of Miss Randolph and her work, and her channel Think About the Ink was one of the main inspirations behind why I do my show the way I do it. But, I'm sorry to say, I don't agree with this. The Deadpool movie should be rated R. A while back I did an episode on superhero comics being too adult. How writers are trying to cram in a lot of extreme content, usually sex and violence, to try to appeal to an older, more mature crowd. I argue that superheroes need to stay within the realm of PG-13 so that they don't alienate the younger audience, while at the same time being mature enough for an older crowd. If you think about it, the PG-13 rating is a very versatile rating. You have movies like Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a lighthearted and fun adventure movie, and you have films like The Dark Knight, which is a dark, dour, and often depressing film. Also in that video, I mentioned how just putting a lot of sex and violence in a Deadpool story isn't going to make it a good story. And that's true, there have been very good PG-13 depictions of Deadpool, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, his various cartoon appearances. Hell, most of his comics are PG-13, or at least in the PG-13 realm. But if you ask me, if you're gonna do a live action movie of Deadpool, it should be rated R, it really should. When making a live action version of a comic superhero, you need to take all the elements from the character's history, mix them together to get the purest, most iconic version of that character. That's why a movie like Sam Raimi's Spider-Man worked so well. It took all the best elements of Spider-Man from the 60s all the way up till when it was released and just meshed it together to make something timeless and essentially Spider-Man. And that's why something like the Mark Webb Spider-Man ultimately failed. It was too busy chasing trends of other better superhero movies that it was trying to tell its own Spider-Man story. With Deadpool, when you look at his whole history, the purest, most iconic version of this character is one that is violent, very irreverent, and very politically incorrect. And while that could work in a PG-13 context, in order to do it true justice, in order to convey it properly, it really should be R. Now Grace Randolph has made it very clear that she doesn't think just a PG-13 version of Deadpool should be released. She says in the petition that they should release an R-rated and PG-rated versions of this film. As pure as her intentions may be, I honestly can't get behind this. You're asking the filmmakers to alter their vision to cater to a crowd that really shouldn't be watching things like this. Imagine if they made PG-13 versions of The Revenant or a Tarantino movie, movies that you know an eight-year-old should never watch. Those movies would only be about 20 minutes long. And Deadpool is complete. They started screening it for fans. So a PG-13 version of the current Deadpool is probably only gonna be about half an hour. Plus, let's be real here. Seeing an R-rated movie when you're underage is something of a rite of passage. We've all done it. I first saw RoboCop when I was like five years old. It was the censored version on TV, but still, that's not something you show a five-year-old. And I used to rent all the Halloween movies from Blockbuster before I was able to drive. So it's not like I was ever sheltered from R-rated movies. Look, kids are going to see this movie. It's gonna happen, whether they sneak into the theater or they catch it on FX down the road. Studios don't need to spend any extra money to try and cater to them. Honestly, they're doing that enough by making the movie rated R. They're gonna wanna see it because it's forbidden to them. So PG-13 Deadpool, I don't think so. Let it be R and let the parents decide whether or not they're gonna let their kids see it. And if they don't want them to see it, the kid's still gonna see it. So what do you guys think? Do you think there should be a PG-13 version of Deadpool or any other R-rated superhero movies? Let me know down below or anywhere on the internet. Subscribe to see all of our new content every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Like this video, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.
Now, as the comic book industry grew, more and more writers and artists tried to skewer their work to an older crowd. Probably thinking that the people who read Superman comics as a kid probably now want to see a more mature story told now that they're much older. Though they still find ways to tell stories that kids can read as well. Hope Pym is from the MC2 universe, an alternate reality that was basically focused on the next generation of heroes. This is the same universe that had Spider-Girl, the daughter of Peter Parker and Mary Jane. But unlike Spider-Girl, Hope was not hero material. 